expect me. Now, let me ask you, uh, let's go to the results here. Uh, so you didn't buy, you didn't use any hero points. So you what know the... Points? Do what? What are hero points? Okay, so the bottom right screen, or the bottom right... Um, uh, how do I describe it? So you have your... Like, like special menu? Yeah, your special points. You see on the resources side, um, I don't know if you have the results up, but... <clears throat> Units? What's it under? Well, it's basically on your... So you have your right tab of all your units you can buy. It's the last one, and basically that's all your he hero points. Um, you have 10 for every game you play. Uh, once you use them, you can't get them back. So like your regular you know, MP that you use, you can that slowly accumulates. But those, um, you know, especially with the USA, you definitely want to... Uh, to use those quite a bit. I don't even know I have those. Yeah, yeah. So that's really key, um, especially in one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, you want to use them as soon as you possibly can. Um, I mean, I don't know w what works for you, but um, I mean, we can, uh, you know, just jump on the same side and I'm um, just kind of show you, just go through the units or something. Uh, what, what do you think works for you? Um. Can or, you, 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 can't you take Fog of War off? Ah, uh, wow, you are I mean, very I see realistic. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Huh. Interesting. I mean, if you want to play a game, we could do that. Um, or we could go slower. I could walk you through the units. Uh, or, I mean, whatever you think works. Or you could just like, go through the units. Let's jump in um, and... Um, we don't, most people don't play with Japan, um, but uh, well, I guess I'll only be able to really talk well. So if we play on the same team, I mean, we could, I could show you the units um, that I, well, I guess if Fog War's off, we should, you should be able to see my units. I've never played with it off, so uh, anyways, I don't know. Let's hit it start. <laughs> <laughs> see how this goes. All right, so uh, I mean, I'm not going to play at, at the start, so I'll just walk you through some of the stuff. Um, maybe go through some, I mean, I, I don't know, I guess tactics or... What have, what have you been buying to start off the games? Or what have you played uh, so far? You played a lot of team games or you played one-on-ones or what? Uh, I've only done one one-on-one. It looks like you won though, didn't you? That Yeah, I won that one. Oh, yeah, nice. he, was, he was actually playing Japan, I was doing Germany. And yeah. He had those light tanks, and I, at first, at first I couldn't do anything because they just get around me. But then I realized that if I have two tanks. Yeah. Jap so Japan has basically what they're good at is well, pretty much any of the allies. They're really good at pushing, uh, and what I mean by that is they're good at keeping everything light, um, and they have an advantage in basically what you call the early game. Um, Japan has, you know, small tanks. Um, oh, yeah, see, I can see. Oh, that's pretty cool. See, I've never played like that before. Um, a lot of times people go, especially with Germany these days, they go with the Kubel to start off with. You would really never want to do it in a one-on-one. -on -one. But, uh, you know, and especially in one-on-ones, I mean, like I said, the game modes are really different. I mean, if we're talking about one-on-one, you really want to go through all, to all three flags if you can, or at least have a guy, because the game is really based on vision, um, not when you don't play with Fog of War, but, <laughs> but otherwise it is. Um, so a lot of people go with this unit to start off with, especially in team games. But with it, you have to have you have to have a vision. Um, so what you can do is just push position your guys kind of. And you basically have cover, fire, like this unit right here, you have to, to destroy that. Um, unless what you want to do is select all your guys, and you can have them all shoot at him. Which helps a lot too. So, yeah. As you can tell.
hell, it's just really hard to take that unit out. I think the problem I have is I'm gonna focus the Do what? Area. Another problem I have is I'm gonna focus the in the area. So like you've already capped us to our points, I'm just kinda here. Here, let me see if I can turn my mic up a little bit. I can't hear you very well. Audio. Let me turn the effects down, let's do that. So, so, okay, you see on your bottom right, it has uh, tanks, and then at the bottom, bottom right, there's a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. If you click on that, you've got, um, you should have, it looks like 12 selections. Now, they all have timers, so basically your first tier is only going to be, I think it's, it looks like, I guess, three minutes into the game, and then those unlock. Um, so for USA... Uh, you know, probably the best one to go with is going to be your 30 cal squad, which is your middle one there. Um, it is, uh, it's basically, I think it's five riflemen and then like a 30 cal. Um, so it's a pretty good squad. And that's really what you will help to, you know, push infantry with. Um, so I definitely would use them. Um, and then you guys would also have the U.S. Marines, which would be your second tier. Now, each of them have certain points. So, like I said, once you get more experience in the game, you really want to plan them accordingly. You don't want to just randomly select and pick which ones, you know? Yeah. Um, there's basically three types of units in the games. There's infantry, which you need all the time. You should really have at least about two squads at all times. And then there's basically infantry killers, which is what I have right here. Um, in many cases, you know, you don't... Well, I don't know how to put it, but these things just do such a good job in killing infantry. So I really only need a few guys, and you can clear out. I don't know why I bought that. I didn't mean to buy that. You know, quite a bit. So I definitely would use them. Um, you see, you have an infantry killer. The problem with that unit, though, is although it does have 50 cows, it can take this. Um, basically, what I have is yeah. a, a looks. It's not going to take it out frontally. I, I didn't see uh, you had that until. Whereas I can take yeah. you out. So. Yeah, 20 caliber versus. Uh, 50 cows are really good, but um, they can take out some things you'd be surprised about, but. So, for example, Germany has the Vet Sniper. A lot of people are going to get the Vet Sniper. Um, which is a pretty awesome unit. And then they also have Brandenburgers. I don't know if... Have you used any of your special points ever? Did you even know they were there? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what they were. I just thought they were special. I just didn't use them. Do you know how to, uh, I guess, cook off a grenade? Uh, you have to direct control and then... Yep, direct control. So once it in, you brought a, well, you brought a Greyhound. So a Greyhound um, is a really good unit, um, but it's really fragile. Oh, and I gotta reload. Fuck. That's unfortunate. Yeah, see, so every unit you can always click to see kind of, uh, um, it gives you intel on it. I mean, obviously, once you start playing, you don't want to... I kind of want to already know what to buy, but, um, yeah, like in that case, if you could have afforded a steward, uh, you should have went steward. Um, like these hills right here. Um, like if you, so where your guys are on this hill, if you're under this hill, in a weird way, 
assault squad under hills are basically really advantageous places um, just for reference um, enemy really has to like go above the hill and then they really can't shoot them so so you know that you have AT grenades, AP grenades. Yeah. Do you ever try and use smoke? No, I've never used smoke. Yeah, well, I don't use smoke either, so. <laughs> so if you know that, I. Oh, it looks like you. What'd you bring? An uh, AT gun? Yeah, that's what you're bringing. Or is that a howitzer? That's AT. Gun. AT. So what I would do is. And you may hit me, but I would get under this hill as soon as I possibly can. And you don't need to DC a lot of these units. If you just click on them, see like that, your guy has no chance. Um, then they'll shoot. The AI will shoot while you DC others something else, you know? What do you mean? Like, all you gotta do is take your unit and then right click on the, the enemy you wanna shoot at. Like if you have a soldier or a group of soldiers, just right click. Let the AI do a lot of the shooting. Um, because, especially with infantry killers, now with tanks, I mean, you can play to your style and figure out what works best, but, um, but the, the AI shoots really, really well. So, like, I have an AT guy, so what I would do is I'd put him right under this hill, for example. And also, do you, you have you used hold fire at all? Hold fire? Like the, uh, the, the, the option? Yeah, yeah, I've used that. Okay. So, like, it's really good. Like, what I did against you when we just played is I had a guy, basically, I had, I don't know if you, I think you probably noticed because you saw them. I had four or five guys, like, in your backfield. Um, oh, yeah. Pretty you much the whole around. map. Um, so that's a good buy right there. So there's nothing I can do. The only thing that I can do is shoot you with my AT. Oh, I didn't realize you had a Panzer Faust. I thought it was a Shrek. So Panzerfausts are really good too, um, but you want to shoot them in prone, and that's what Brandenburgers get you. It, it may be easier to show you kind of if we're on the same team. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing yes and no. I mean, you could show me what you need to get, but there's no one to fight. So I'm sorry. What did you say? There'd be no one to fight. So. Uh, So the squad I just bought is a two-point squad. So what a lot of people do with Germany, for example, is they'll go the vet sniper, which I actually didn't buy. I meant to click it. I just clicked the wrong button. But um, and then they'll go this unit, which has all these Panzerfaust guys. Which if you put them around the map, they really just create like a a blanket, for example. Um, I guess we're kind of getting really a little complicated stuff, but. See, like, now you can see it because it's not Fog of War, but you see all these guys I'm pulling? I have them all on hold fire, and, well, you're going to flame them, but usually you wouldn't be able to see them. <laughs> like, literally, you can't see these guys unless you're within, like, five, six meters. So with your Sherman right there, what you'd want to have is basically a blanket of guys. You want to have one to two, three guys kind of all around you. Um, you don't have to have them necessarily right next to your tank, but you want them so that you kind of create like a defensive blanket there. And also, you know, you can like go in, you can repair units. I mean, you've repaired them before. All of the uh, tanks and stuff. There's about to be a big boom right there. Uh, I didn't get in here, guys, though. Um, but, like, all tanks have, like, um, they've got dynamite. They You can repair. Um, have you played any of the single 
You've you've played enough to know all that. So. Oh yeah, I know. I know. That. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. I'll get in there. Got him. Oh, <laughs> uh, bounce right there. <laughs> All right, let me bring out a tank. Maybe we can uh, just do a little bit with a tank. So, do you know about angling? Oh yeah. Okay. So, like Shermans, they have a uh, slope on them. So you really want to try and angle them. I mean, not too much, but just enough. Um, what you really learn is is kind of how to. Um, that nice shot you can even far shoot I don't know if you, if you far shot at all I don't know why you're able to hit me but I can't even shoot at you oh there we go so the croc and the H are, are pretty balanced um, although I'd say the H has got a little advantage to it so what's great is if you have this Stuart, what you'd want to do is you'd want to flank one of them. You wouldn't want to just keep both of them right there. You know what I'm um, You got infantry there, so. Do what? You got infantry. And so what I'll do is instead of aiming at your thing, I'm just going to click on your tank and let the AI shoot that. Uh, it's just really difficult to uh, to shoot kind of if something's moving. If you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So like on that one, I I mean I didn't mean to kill your sewer, but I just wanted to show you if you just click on it, that's really a So now I'm actually aiming at you. So you should have just back you should just back up instead of angling like that. Oh, I don't know how to kill you. <laughs> Desperate clicking for that shot. So what you can do is, you know, like I know your tank's injured. Well, you know what I mean? It doesn't have the full amount of crew, so you would uh, immediately want to buy, you know, as you're backing up, you'd want to buy like tank crew or something. And you can put any guy in them, you don't have to have tank crew. Apparently they're going to come out with uh, what's called like veteran C. I thought that was already out. No? no, well, I mean it's coming out of the... Um... Oh, are you shooting me? Don't do that. Did you buy a Chaffee? I did. Oh, nice. You got my Puma. Uh, Chaffee is just... It's no longer decent at all. Um, really, if I'm USA, which I am a lot, quite a bit. I mean, I really like them. Um, I really just stick to Sherman... Well, I stick with a Stewart. That would be my first probably buy after like a half track. Um, so, do you have someone in that tank? Are you are you trying to get me? I think you're trying to get me right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep driving. Um, oh, man, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to keep driving. <laughs> oh, maybe I still can drive. Why are your guys <laughs> not hitting this? me? What is this? <laughs> Oh my god, are you... what? Are you like aiming at it or what? Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's crazy. So many fucking... oh, jeez. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so like normally I would go with like, I guess the Bet Tiger would be my, my next thing, but... Oh, no, I wouldn't do that. They'd just I wouldn't. I can't do anything. Well, I'm talking about in six minutes, just for Germany. That's typically my uh, buy order. So we don't have fog of war, but I really can't see your guys. That's weird. Oh. They're all right here. What the hell? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit right next to this tank. Um, you know, you kind of want to use cover too. Thankfully, you, uh, or, you know, you actually did penetrate me. But, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. You want to play, like, a, a team game or something? Yeah, we can try that. Alright, well. Do you want to just play the rest of us out, or you want to start it over, or what? Uh, we, we can we just go yeah. for it. Okay.
All right, let's see who else is on here. Let me get. Uh, looks like no one's really on. Can we go in a party, or do we have to go separate? Do what? Uh, no. Did you leave? Oh yeah, I did. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, you can just change the map inside the lobby here. Oh, I thought we were gonna do like ranks. But... A what? Ranks. Oh, uh, ranked. Ah, uh, no. No offense, I'm only do ranked with. <laughs> I actually, I've never even played two v two ranked. Okay. 2v2 ranked. Okay. Um, there. Honestly, ranked is just like in in matchmaking. It's just like. Um, how do I put it? The games tend to be slow, like they're laggy. Um, and then also the units are locked. Uh, so to be honest with you, I don't typically play it a whole lot. Basically, most of my uh, ranked is one on one. Um, do you play with Commonwealth a whole lot? Do I have you played with the UK at all? I have not at all. Like, um, not even skirmish. I haven't. I haven't. Okay, well maybe I'll save things. that for another day. So you've played with all the other factions? I haven't done Japan either very much, but yeah. Um, I might wanna Any specific map you like? No. I don't even know the maps, so Okay. <laughs> well, is there an easier way for uh, putting infantry in buildings though? Because I, I I do that like get in the window and then it has that like uh, that little image the mouse changes to that thing you know. Um... It just kind of puts infantry in there, but then they kind of take up random windows that aren't really good. Uh no, I mean that's that's really the way to do it. Uh yeah. Buildings are okay. It's nice to infest, you get vision with it, but they don't really shoot out of buildings that well, um, is the only thing. So I wouldn't what I definitely wouldn't do is I wouldn't put more than like you know, really more than one or two guys in a building. You'd never want to put like five guys in a building. Okay, so it's not like C O H where you wanna you want the buildings. No, not at all. No. Really, what you want is, although they call it assault squad, you really want to really divide your your troops up, because the thing about the game is they all have shared vision. So where okay. one guy sees something, the rest of your guys see it. Does that make sense? Yeah. If if it's if they see it, then they see it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this guy, I'm gonna have to kick. Um, just from for a lobby perspective, um, the the bars, the PC performance bars, yeah. is to the right of people's names. And uh, should I turn mine down? Though? If you have your s graphics up higher, I would um, lower them. Um, I, mean, I don't lag very much, so. Yeah, yours doesn't seem too bad. Um, you can actually do that in the uh, in the options menu inside that lobby too. Just so mm -hmm. you know. But uh, someone with zero bars would lag like hell, so that's a no-go.